In this lecture, I'll give you an overview of the NetApp platforms which run on the Element operating system. That's SolidFire and NetApp HCI. SolidFire is a scale out clustered all flash SAN. So there's no NAS support. You learned earlier that ONTAP supports both SAN and NAS. Our E and EF series systems support SAN only. SolidFire is similar to that in that it does not support NAS protocols. It is SAN only. And SolidFire is always all SSDs. There's no hybrid option with SolidFire for it to also support spinning disks. With your SolidFire systems, they are a clustered scale-out system. And in a cluster, you can have from 4 to 100 nodes. The nodes have integral CPU, RAM, and disks. So unlike your FAS and AFF systems with ONTAP and your E and EF series systems, they don't have external disk shelves. The disks come in the same chassis. Adding additional nodes means adding the entire chassis and doing that adds capacity and performance to the entire cluster. And just like with all the other systems, different hardware models can be included in the same cluster. Each node provides a fixed amount of IOPS performance, so it makes it easy to plan your performance. Capacity and performance are pooled across the entire cluster and capacity and performance are managed separately. The administrator sets the capacity and required performance when creating a volume. So whenever you've got a new workload that needs to be supported with a solid fire system, it's very easy to provision the capacity and the performance for that particular workload. And unlike with a lot of other systems, managing your capacity and your performance is being decoupled or managed separately. RAID is not used on solid fire systems. It's got a system called Solid Fire Helix that writes a copy of the data to two nodes. Now, if you're thinking, isn't that just the same as RAID 1 mirroring? No, it's not, because with RAID 1, the disks are in the same chassis. So if you lose that chassis, then you've lost um, all of your data, unless you've got a backup, of course. With Solid Fire Helix, that gives you better redundancy because it's mirroring the disks, but those disks are in different systems. So if you lose the node, then it's still there on the other node. It's still available in the cluster. SolidFire also has data protection features. It's got snapshots, volume clones, and replication. ONTAP has got those as well. We'll be covering those in a lot more detail later in the course. And SolidFire was an acquisition by NetApp in 2016. Use cases for SolidFire, well, the cluster supports many varied workloads and SolidFire is very well known for having advanced QoS capabilities. You can control the minimum and the maximum level of performance at the volume level and the performance is measured in IOPS. So controlling the performance for your different workloads is a very advanced feature but it's very simple to actually manage that so the system is designed for simple administration orchestration and automation and administrators do not need to be storage specialists so if you've got a virtualization engineer who's used to working with vmware systems for example then they can very easily provision the storage for those systems without being an expert in storage so you can see the kind of features that SolidFire has got, and this lends itself to the actual use cases. So again, on that slide there, simple administration, orchestration, and automation, and it supports many varied workloads. So what would that be good for? Well, multi-tenant cloud providers. That can be either public cloud, or it could be private cloud running VMware, OpenStack, etc. An example use case is a company who is currently got their workloads deployed on public cloud, but they want to pull that back in on premises, SolidFire would be an excellent choice for that. Here's what SolidFire looks like. Let's have a look at this on the NetApp website. 
So to get to this page, as usual, we go to the main netapp.com homepage, click on products, and SolidFire is all flash. So we'll find it under the all flash uh, menu here, and there we can see SolidFire. So I'm on that page now. I'll scroll down to see the different models. These are the models that are currently for sale. Again, by the time you see this video, there might be more updated models available. So you can come to the products page to see those. And the current models, they all support 100,000 IOPS per node. So the difference between them is the effective capacity you get on those different models. Okay, so that was solid fire. Going back to the slides again. So with solid fire, the capacity and the performance are pooled across the entire cluster. That's similar to our HCI, our hyper-converged infrastructure methodology. But solid fire systems provide storage only. They don't provide compute all in the one system like you'll get with an HCI system. So NetApp HCI does provide both storage and compute in a scale-out pooled infrastructure. So with NetApp HCI, the storage nodes run on SolidFire Element OS, the same as our SolidFire systems. The compute nodes run on VMware OS. So with NetApp HCI, with the chassis, you put blades in there, or you can buy the entire node as one system. You'll see that coming up in a minute. And those nodes can either be the compute node running VMware or the storage node running Element OS. A cluster supports 2 to 64 compute nodes and 4 to 40 storage nodes. Obviously, you need to have both compute and storage nodes in the system. A cluster can be deployed in under 30 minutes very easily using the NetApp deployment engine. With HCI, simplicity is always a big factor in that. So NetApp HCI also obviously supports simplicity. The cluster is designed to be managed through the VMware vSphere web client with storage plugins. So single pane of glass to manage the entire system, simple administration. The use of separate dedicated nodes allows storage and compute to be scaled independently of each other. So this is a complaint with a lot of the first generation of HCI systems that came out was that you would buy a node which had both compute and storage in that node. So whenever you wanted to scale out, you could scale out easily, but whenever you did scale out, you were scaling out the compute and the storage at the same rate. What if you needed more compute, but not more storage? Or what if you needed more storage, but not more compute? Then you couldn't really do that. But you can do that with NetApp HCI because you've got those separate compute and storage nodes. Now, because of that, some analysts have argued that NetApp HCI is converged rather than hyper-converged infrastructure as it does have that separate storage and compute infrastructures, even though they're all in the same system. So because of that, NetApp HCI has since been rebranded as NetApp Hy Hybrid Cloud Infrastructure instead of hyper-converged infrastructure. So NetApp took that criticism on board and they said, okay, well, we'll just change what the HCI stands for then. That entertained me. Okay, use cases for HCI. NetApp HCI adds VMware compute capability to the solid fire storage and element OS. So it is similar to solid fire. It's using the same operating system. It just adds that compute capability on the one single system. It shares similar use cases to solid fire because of that. So it's got simple administration for workload consolidation. You can run multiple different workloads on there and manage them very simply, as you would expect from an HCI system. It's well suited for public or private multi-tenant cloud providers. And a common use case on here is your virtual desktop infrastructure with VMware View. It will be VMware View because it is VMware that we're using for the compute. This is what NetApp HCI looks like. Let's have a look at the data sheet for NetApp HCI, which you can get from the NetApp website. So you can see the different nodes here. We've got the H610S storage node. This can actually be used in a solid fire system as well as the NetApp HCI. So that's got the disks in there. That's a storage node. 
the H610 C graphic compute node, you see that it has got GPU cards in the node there. So that's good for graphics intensive workloads. And then we've got the H410C compute node and there's different options there on the CPU capability that you have in there. So you can see it goes, now with the H410C, that is half width. So two of these nodes fit in the same physical chassis. So that's why you see the cores are double what you see on the physical cores because there's two per chassis. Uh, and if I go a little bit further down, you can see we've got also information on the storage nodes. The information that you see there is how many IOPS are supported per node and how much capacity is supported. Okay, so that was Element OS running on SolidFire and NetApp HCI. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands on practice with NetApp storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.